Well, Chekhov started out in theatre, of course, and although he made films, some films in, in Russia, and when he was in exile in Germany, the the end of his life, then he was in Hollywood from 44 through to his death in 55. And working in Hollywood um, was very difficult for him to begin with. And, and you can see that within the films that he did in Hollywood. Um, for example, in Spellbound, um, I think it's one of the best film performances that he made. The other smaller parts, the character roles that he played, um, they were a little bit too over the top, I felt. You know, when you see Chekhov in, in Spellbound, it's a different style of performance to Gregory Peck and Ingrid Bergman. And although it's very um, wonderful to watch, and it is rather an eccentric character, the, the professor, the psychiatrist that he's playing, um, the style is very different to the, to the other actors. And he began to see that what one needed for for film work, and we could say for television work as well, he called it to veil. If we see the radiating, actors radiate, they give. That's what they do. And on theatre you need to give into the space, and you give into the space the size of the theatre. So if you're working in a small black box, or in a pub theatre, or in a really large theatre, um, the space is very different, so you actually have to um, radiate out into that space. For film and television work, you don't radiate so far. In fact, it all has to be on the inner, uh, inner life. That has to move, and the, f um, the physical body has to manifest that, but in very, very subtle ways, because cameras pick up even... I mean, they don't pick up the dilation of the, of the pupil in the eye, but they pick up every movement of the muscle in the face. They pick up um, in close-ups, for example. So we have to learn to mm, bring it in. I always think that models, um, you know, people who model for, for fashion and things, I'm always amazed that their, that their um, their, s their confidence, that they're, they're just there. And it's almost as if consciously, and I'm sure they don't do it consciously, they're just talented at it. Um, but you see, that's the difference now. We have to be m really aware and conscious of how we create talent, how we create um, inspiration within our work, which is really talent. talent. That is working with the space that you draw into you. So you become the center, and the camera simply, um, you allow the camera to look at you. This is the year of the Diamond Jubilee, and the queen is very, very good at, at that. She allows herself to be seen. She doesn't go out and see people and wave and do all that, hello, yeah, do all this. <laughs> she allows herself to be seen. And I think that that's the secret for film and television work. Allow yourself to be seen by the camera. And although you can use all the principles, you just have to, um, to veil them, to bring this, your sense of, of your periphery, yes, bring it much closer to yourself. Whereas in theatre work, your periphery has to really be be the size of the space you're working in. And in that sense, I think it's a spatial experience that we need to begin with. Because you can think, oh, veil it, veil it, yes, but what am I veiling? Spatially, you just, and this is spatial imagination, you just bring it into yourselves. Bring it into um, the center of your being and work from that. 